Well, good Saturday morning. The time is now to get up out of bed and go start your day. There's a ton of events out there and you're probably going to want to know though before you head out the door what your forecast is looking like right now. As we take a live look from Mount Vernon, we do see some haze still lingering around. We are welcoming in some of that wildfire haze still filtering in from Canada. So you still see that out there along with a partly cloudy sky eventually increasing as we go through our afternoon. Right now, though, temperatures a little cool there for Mount Vernon sitting into those upper 50 sitting at 57 winds keeping us calm also coming from the north northeast three miles per hour very calm but we do see some areas of patchy fog out there so just take your time take your caution as you're driving out there most of us though however further south carbondale harrisburg cape toronto sitting into those lower 60s getting a little bit warmer as you go further south there kennett union city into those mid upper 60s so as we look through the rest of the week we are looking at clouds increasing today a few isolated chances of a shower or storm as we go into Father's Day, keep an eye out of the sky and the forecast. We are going to be tracking showers and storms. Going to be windy at times. And for your Juneteenth, that's Monday. Going to be looking rainy. And again, we're welcoming back more storms. Now, I should use the word welcoming back lightly because I know a lot of you guys are trying to get outside and there's a lot of events. So as we go through the day today, clouds will be increasing. Those winds still coming calm from the north and east. Again, still cool, warming us up though into our afternoon highs into those lower to mid 80s. Clouds building a slight chance of a shower or storm primarily into the southern parts waking up for you going into your Sunday morning temperatures mild though into those lower to mid 60s cast overcast. Sorry to tell you so if you're going out for fishing, this might not be the perfect cast for you. But we are going to be tracking early morning showers and storms primarily as we get to the late afternoon hours. We're going to be tracking a low moving back over our region. Kind of what we saw last weekend with the gusty winds, heavy rain. This should be in and out pretty quick, though. At times we could be tracking a strong or severe storm here or there, but we're not looking at anything significant. Again, gusty winds, maybe some small hail, but really torrential rainfall with some of these as we go through your evening hours eventually clearing out some more chances will be on the back side of that but here's your storm prediction center forecast for today that level one primarily just staying off to the west of poplar bluff only two counties there into our viewing area as we go into your father's day though we are going to be looking at that extending a little bit further encompassing now poplar bluff dunkling pemiscott county is part of our Union City area there, but that is again for tomorrow. Very low chance, but even if you're not into that region that's outlined, just prepare for some of those showers and storms to maybe be on the strong to severe side. But we are looking at more rain, so that's the good news. So this is our updated drought monitor. We are looking pretty dry now, moderately dry in these beige colors. That yellow color is just symbolizing dry, but a wider look. Most of the state of Illinois into that moderate dry conditions, even if you go further up to the north and east. So not looking great for the United States right now, but for us, we do have our best chance of rain coming up for Sunday. A few more isolated scattered chances as we go through the rest of the week, but they're not looking like a whole lot. So just count your blessings at this point and download that storm track three up because again, there's a lot of events happening. You're, you're going to want to know exactly what your forecast is looking like. But hey, for your Father's Day weekend, Today is your best day to get out there and do whatever you please. Temperatures back into those mid 80s. We are going to be looking at humidity, clouds increasing, winds from the north northeast, 5 to 10 miles per hour. A few gusts out there could occasionally gust over 20 miles per hour. But for your Sunday, temperature is going to be a little on the cooler side, and there's a chance of a snow storm here and there. But Juneteenth events, same thing. Yeah, I and mean, I know you mentioned we have a lot of Juneteenth events. We've got the Cesar and Lake Days going on this weekend. There's an archery tournament, a lot depending on that weather.